Here's an exam question solving for theta. We're given a tangent curve and ask it angle is between 360 and 0. So, of course, the idea is leaving this part alone and move the 1 over and radical 3. The way we want to do it is we can view this one as a big uh, angle. Let's see, tangent alpha equal to 1 third uh, over. 1 over radical 3, and uh, grabbing the tangent curve would depend on our value here. Here's a tangent curve between 0 and 270. Now, uh, since the angle we're given is between 360 and 0, and there's a possibility our angle might end up over here. So, but the rough idea is since this one is alpha, is in some form of theta, and we're going to find this value, which is 1 over radical 3. And we're going to draw a line here and see how many of those angles is lies within the 0 to 360. All right, let's get to it. All right, so let's get to solving this equation. Like I said earlier, what we're going to do is going to have a tangent of 3 theta over 4. I'm going to move the 1 over and divide it by radical 3. Okay, so if you don't remember the special angles, as I had a trouble remembering those when I was in school, there's an easy trick over here. Let me share that with you. It's 1, 2, 3, put a radical on, divided by 2 for sine. And for cosine, it's backward. 3, 2, 1, put a radical on, divided by 2. Okay, of course, then since tangent is really just sine theta divided by cosine theta, and that gives that tangent over here is 1 over radical 3. This is 1 and the radical 3. So here are the values for our tangent angle. So within the, the first quadrant, of course, uh, here's our tangent curve again I drew earlier. This is 90 degrees, and the curve repeats itself. So this is 270 degrees, and there's a little leg going up if we got into the 360 degrees. Okay, but it doesn't look like we're going to be in there, so this is actually going to be the chunk we'll be looking at, because the value for the angle. Uh, if we let our far back over here, uh, let's pick a different color, equal to 3 theta over 4, and then we'll have our far equal to 30 degrees, uh, which gives you the theta is equivalent to, uh, that's pretty easy to solve, uh, 40 degrees. Or uh, 180 degrees later, 360 plus 80 degrees, because the curve repeats. Okay, so alpha is equal to 210 degrees, or you can solve that theta is really equal to 280 degrees then. Okay. Hi, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. And uh, please share or comment on this video. Together, we can make a difference.